All right, Tanya. So, yeah, a lot of changes. That includes that hurricane watch now in effect for Okeechobee. We'll get to the watches in a second, but we got to talk about how powerful this hurricane is. Now, with max sustained winds at 155 miles per hour, it literally is on the edge of becoming a Category 5. It becomes a Category 5 at 156, and that's what's expected in any moment, really, as it stays just to the north of the Yucatan Peninsula. Tomorrow, it's going to make that turn towards the northeast direction. As it does that, it's probably going to pick up some steam, accelerate a little bit. Now it could run into some upper level winds that are pretty strong, that wind shear. That's why the thinking is that maybe Milton will still downgrade to a four, but given the fact that it's going to be even stronger as a cat five, there's only so much it can weaken. So unfortunately, it is still going to be a category three making landfall. Notice this Wednesday at 8 p.m on the west coast of Florida. The center still right over Tampa Bay with max sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. Another thing I want to point out that potentially Milton could be a lot stronger as it makes its way over land, potentially a cat two or category three. Uh, that is going to cause extensive damage from both sides of the coast. So it won't really downgrade until once it finally exits into the Atlantic Ocean to that category one. Also note in the forecast cone. Treasure Coast, Okeechobee were under that. Now, just because Martin County and Palm Beach County aren't under necessarily that cone, the edge of the cone there, doesn't mean that we're not going to get impacts in those counties too. We certainly will get tropical storm force conditions. There is the watch in Magenta, Okeechobee County, now under that hurricane watch, which means in 48 hours, there will be hurricane conditions across the county and, of course, across the West Coast as well.